Okay, hello everyone. So today we are here with Mr. McBride, uh, the representative from uh, Upper Canada College, one of the best college in Canada. So first, um, uh, can you introduce a little bit about your school, Mr. McBride? Sure, thanks for having me. Uh, Upper Canada College is a boys-only uh, independent school from grade 8 to grade 12 uh, is our boarding program. One of the great aspects of UCC is we're located in downtown Toronto, Canada's largest city, a very safe city, um, and our boys really enjoy that experience of being in the middle of, a, of, of a, the most culturally diverse city in the world right now. We're an international baccalaureate school, so we have very, very high academic standards. Um, all of our boys graduate with the IB diploma. All of them head off to university, um, either in Canada, the U.S., or internationally uh, following graduation. But school really is about more than just, you know, just a great academic program. Uh, our boys enjoy 18 different sports they can play, over 60 different clubs and organizations. Music, drama, film, fine arts, incredible arts opportunities as well. So we really try to provide um, the boys with a, a very unique, uh, very full experience uh, with lots of opportunities. Mm. And, and about uh, your admission requirement, is it very is it hard for a student for Vietnamese students to get into school? Sure, um, we currently have four boys uh, from Vietnam right now. They're all doing uh, very very well. One of them will be graduating this year, and three of them will graduate the following year. So we're very interested in finding um, great boys from Vietnam, and, and certainly I would say the experience of those four boys is they've done very well. Um, They've done very well at UCC. Their English skills coming into the college were, were quite high. Um, they all had strong academic programs, so, so they're, they're doing very, very well. We do not offer an ESL program, so we do need uh, a boy to have fairly strong English skills. Uh, we're looking at two years of grades. We require boys to write the SSAT exam. We would interview most boys as well, either in person or via Skype. Um, and we're looking for extracurricular activities as well. So we want to see boys who are going to bring something to, uh, to the school. Mm. So you, you have mentioned about the uh, IB program. So what is the benefit for the student to study IB mm -hmm. program? I think around the world, the IB is recognized by many as probably the strongest high school diploma that exists. Uh, it's, a, it's a curriculum that's offered around the world uh, at a very, very high level. I worked for a long time in universities. I would actually say it's very much like a first year university program in terms of being, um, you know, in allowing students to touch on all different areas and really get a, a great well-rounded experience. Certainly one of the benefits our students enjoy is that they would, they would say that when they head off to university, um, they're incredibly well prepared. Often they'll come back and say first year university was, was relatively easy. A lot, of, a lot of colleges and universities will also give boys advanced standing or credit reductions based on the IB diploma. So there's a there's a real value as well. And apart from the sport and club, do your school offer any extra activity, any opportunity mm -hmm. to the student? Um, we're a boys school, so we know that boys need to stay busy or they get in trouble. So um, we, we work very hard to make sure that the boys are busy, uh, really Monday Monday through Sunday. Um, they're, they're busy during the, during the week the academic programs, most of them will play sports, are involved in activities, we have mandatory study periods. We also have a very active weekend program that um, it allows boys to experience all that is great about Toronto. So we provide tickets to major league sporting events, cultural opportunities, um, Toronto's a city full of great museums, um, great restaurants, our boys go to an amusement park. They'll downhill ski. We'll take them downhill skiing a couple of times a year. So lots and lots of activities to make sure that on the weekends they're busy as well. So uh, you have said um, so far you know, the Upper Canada College, they offer a strong academic program and diversify uh, uh, extra activities such as sport, mm -hmm. uh, um, off-lot activity. And also you promote the student's knowledge and skill to a great a whole new level. We'll so try. We, uh, the student will become more independent, or uh, uh, more straightforward, more creative, and this will be a good, very good thing for Vietnamese student to study in your school. We and, and it's a very safe city. I think. I think from for, from a, from a parental perspective, that's one of the great things about Toronto, and it's one of the things that's unique 
makes us one of the unique schools in Canada. Most boarding schools in Canada are located in smaller towns. We're one of the few schools located in, in the largest city in Canada, the most diverse city in Canada. Um, Canada is a very safe country. There's very little crime. Boys can walk alone at night. Um, they can leave campus and they're fine. Um, and, and I think you know they value they value being in a city, but also the wealth uh, of experiences that we provide them um, on campus as well. Hmm. So, what are you waiting for if you're seeking for a good academic with a good studying environment? So, why why don't you join his school? Why don't you attend Upper Canada College? It's the best choice you can have, right? We'd we'd love we'd love some great boys from Vietnam and. Uh, and we're we're proud to be one of the top schools, uh, top schools in Canada, and uh, and we hope to find great boys here mm -hmm. on a trip to, to uh, Vietnam. So we are looking forward to have more Vietnamese boy in uh, Upper Canada College. Great. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.